hi friends welcome to the session so in this uh, session we are going to uh, talk about the concepts of the threat priorities uh, while designing the projects while running of the applications uh, there is a chance of uh, uh, assigning the threats assigning the priorities for the threat priority is nothing but uh, holding of the uh, preference value of each thread suppose if i am running the uh, multiple threads and i want to notify i want to give labels of those particular threads uh, in such a way that uh, uh, each and every thread is having certain priority based on that particular priority cpu need to allocate the timing and uh, first it has to finish uh, the task of the highest priority thread so in this regard uh, just let me explain some of the uh, fundamental aspects related to that particular thread priority and then we'll uh, implement the same with the help of the uh, eclipse editor so by the implementation of the threads and all and if you are referencing the thread priority the thread priorities are used by the thread scheduler to decide when each thread should be allowed to run each thread means uh, suppose i am having n number of threads there is a concept of uh, scheduling the thread scheduling is nothing but allocation of the timing by each and every thread notation so uh, and uh, high priority threads generally get more cpu time than the low priority threads that is a fundamental point and java assigns each thread a priority that determines how the thread should be treated with respect to the others because there is a uh, referential uh, i mean uh, uh, the corresponding threads we can represent in such a way that those particular threads are having the relative priority value and uh, based on that particular relative priority value the cpu need to treat that particular thread when compared with the other threads that thing we have to notify and uh, thread priorities are integers anyhow from 1 to 10 uh, you can uh, assume that uh, the maximum priority minimum priority and as well as the normal priority the th thread priorities are integers that specify the relative priority of one thread to another okay and uh, continuation threads priority is used to decide when to switch from one run one running thread to the next this is called a context switch because in the discussion of the thread model uh, uh, we already seen that uh, what exactly the context switching this particular context switching is nothing but uh, suppose i am running thread one and i want to uh, execute my thread 2 which is having the highest priority so in that particular case uh, as per the uh, highest preference thread uh, the thread 2 need to get the uh, catch hold of the cpu okay so then cpu should uh, switch off the current thread running and it should give the priority to the highest thread that is what you call the context switch the rules that determine when a context switch takes place the rule generally friends uh, there is no uh, hard coded uh, rule kind of rule book or something like that it's there is no such kind of thing only the thing is high priority thread should be served uh, compared with the low priority thread the preference should be given to the high priority thread that's all a thread can be preempted by a high priority thread in this case a lower priority thread that does not yield the processor is simply preempted no matter what it is doing by a higher priority thread generally higher priority thread preempts the execution of the lower priority threads preemption before completion of the task if the thread asks to give up the current execution then we can say that as a preemptive algorithm preemptive kind of the task and now in cases when two threads with the same priority there is there is some kind of the situation you may feel that uh, like uh, in the entire project uh, maybe uh, some one or two threads might have the same uh, thread priority in that particular case there is a concept called round robin as per your uh, operating system uh, uh, concepts uh, rr fashion round robin fashion so even the priority is there just it is uh, skipping uh, one thread by another thread uh, in the format of the round robin fashion okay so and uh, one more important thing is how to set the priority because uh, we are all uh, talking about uh, the priority kind of things uh, and uh, i need to take one thread and i should give the priority value like in the case of the max priority min priority or normal priority so to, to do that just we are having the uh, method called set priority so with the help of this particular set priority i can give the level of that particular thread whether i am having the max priority min priority or normal priority here level specifies the new property setting for the calling thread and uh, as earlier uh, we discussed in the uh, 
corresponding aspect in the previous uh, class the value of level must be within the range of min priority and as well as the max priority these values uh, can vary from uh, 1 to 10 and uh, always max priority is having 10 min priority is having 1 to return a threat to a default priority specify the norm priority which is currently 5 sometimes you know friends uh, like uh, while uh, executing some of the applications uh, i want to raise a particular thread uh, uh, to the maximum priority and once the task is completed i want to uh, settle down that particular thread to the normal priority that i can do with the help of the set priority and these priorities are defined as uh, final variables within the thread you know uh, if you are referencing the final variables uh, which are which are unchanged okay in the thread class itself they are available and we can obtain the current priority setting by calling the get priority actually two methods were there one is the set priority where you can uh, assign the uh, priority value of the corresponding thread and next is the get priority i want to get the priority of the corresponding thread based on the uh, requirement okay and uh, in this particular case and there is a certain method called uh, join which is very important because uh, the join is like uh, one kind of the barrier uh, we can observe the uh, activity of this particular join in this uh, slide so which is available in java.lang.thread class provides the join method which allows one thread to wait until another thread completes its execution so there are there is a computation assume that some three three threads are running parallel which is multi threading and in that particular case uh, one thread uh, has to wait until another thread completes its execution and which uh, which is uh, achieved with the help of the join method if t is a thread object whose thread is currently executing then t dot join will make sure that t is terminated before the next instruction is executed by the program because every thread must be terminated before uh, executing the next instruction after getting terminated only the next instruction should be followed okay and uh, now we'll see the example of this particular thread priorities friends so the thread priority basically helps us so as to give the preference to the corresponding threads and uh, based on that particular priority value so the threads are going to run okay and now just to observe from this particular thing and i am making use of one thread which is extending thread and i am uh, running this particular uh, method with uh, just uh, my thread got started and i just a simple uh, for loop i have taken and i want to print out these particular values and at the moment this particular execution is completed then i i, I am outputting this that uh, this particular thread has finished its its uh, execution and similarly i am taking uh, one more uh, class y which extends uh, thread and i am making use of uh, implementation of this run method so just i am uh, observing this particular y got started and i am making use of the for loop and i am printing the values of that particular loop along with the thread and once this particular thread is uh, completed its uh, run method then i am giving this uh, thread by finished and similarly class z extends thread in the run method uh, we are having uh, the for loop okay get started and we are just printing the counter value and once that particular loop is completed we are uh, coming out of this particular run method by just uh, uh, printing the message called uh, thread get finished and now uh, setting up the priorities we are taking the in the main function so just main thread getting started and uh, we have a general procedure so just we need to instantiate the corresponding uh, classes which extend the thread value and uh, like that three uh, classes xyz classes got instantiated and now this is the time uh, we are uh, putting the set priority to all the corresponding threads okay max priority min priority all these things and uh, if you are referencing the thread jet I, I want to keep this particular jet priority uh, as highest priority so that i had given this max priority and i want to set this particular x whatever the x thread is there i want to put that particular priority as the min priority and for y i did it in a different way so just uh, i got the uh, normal get priority so which is uh, nothing but the if you are not giving any priority means uh, it is a normal priority so just i am increasing one okay whatever the normal priority i am having i am increasing one so which is not the maximum which is not the minimum but uh, it is a normal priority okay in between minimum and as well as maximum as in the previous uh, slide we have seen so just in between maximum and minimum there is a default priority which is the normal priority just one we are raising that particular normal priority 
and uh, if you are referencing this particular thing uh, for, we need to start rather than uh, using the run method again one more method we have to give that is the start method so i am starting all these uh, x y and as well as the z but uh, keep in mind that uh, our z is having the highest priority y is the next highest priority x is having the least priority and now the join method friends actually uh, in the slide we have seen this join method what it does okay so then the join method helps us so as to refer the specification of uh, the current thread until this particular uh, will make sure that t is terminated the current thread thread should be terminated before the next instruction is executed by the program so the thread priority and as well as thread termination is most important so as to give space to the other threads now so just if you are referencing these particular threads once the main function completes then we can uh, uh, output this uh, main thread finished okay so three classes i have taken okay all these three classes extend the thread and each of uh, each and every class is having the run method and once that uh, class run methods are implemented then we are uh, running we are giving the priority or to all these particular threads and we are uh, observing how these particular threads are going to run make sure that our z thread is having the maximum priority so it should be finished first and then our y should be finished first and at last the x value should finish it first and one more important thing is maybe x is getting cpu time at first and y is getting cpu time in the next uh, subsequent uh, timings and z may be getting the timing after after all these x and y but the cpu by seeing this particular maximum priority of z it should complete this particular z first and later y should be completed and then finally x has to complete no matter whether uh, at what point of time you start your uh, thread is uh, doesn't matter here only the thing is what is the priority of the thread is most important okay now let me run this particular program okay so as per the uh, representation of this particular program first uh, anyhow uh, the thread uh, get started as per the highest priority and whatever the counter values you have given in that particular z uh, caught uh, uh, taken and uh, thread z has uh, finished and thereafter y started again y and thereafter x started all the counter values and uh, finished this particular x and finally finished the main thread so observe here friends but uh, logically we started our this particular x initially start and y and thereafter z but in the outcome you might have observed like you know this particular thread got first executed and just uh, after completion of this particular thread again it is uh, finished and all so this is what how you can uh, make use of the priority values and uh, uh, these particular priority values are helpful in the implementation of uh, uh, this uh, highest priority lowest priority and as well as the default okay thank you